Hey there, it's Coach Kyle here, and today I'm gonna be walking you through how to finally lose that love handle fat, that stubborn fat around your stomach that you can't seem to get rid of, so let's jump right into it. Now, especially if you're watching this video, you already know how frustrating it is to have, especially because you work hard, you've been going to the gym for years, you've been trying to eat cleaner, but it just doesn't seem to want to go away. And this is gonna actually be the most important step, and the one that you probably don't wanna hear, it's going to be actually be to be patient and to continuously show up. I know so many people who are just fed up with their love handles, who wanna see it go away, who've been overeating for years with really, really bad habits, and as soon as they get into the routine, you know, maybe they're one week into dieting, a couple weeks and go to the gym, they're wondering why it's not going away. You know, the amount of times I've been in training with people or there's just people have asked me questions and they'll grab that love handle area and they'll say, this is my problem area, and they just haven't given it enough time. And this is obviously hard for some people to hear because we wanna hear magic fixes and quick fixes, but I can promise you, if you do it for a certain amount of time, uh, especially months on end, following all these next steps, you'll be absolutely amazed at what you can accomplish. Now with that, obviously, like I said, it's taking years to build up this fat storage from overeating from improper habits. You can't expect it to go away right away. Now where it's tough is this love handle area, unfortunately, is the place that our body loves to store fat, as I'm sure some of you know, especially men. We struggle with this a lot and women, especially after menopause, it can be super challenging. Now where it gets tough is this is the last place we end up losing fat and usually the first place we end up gaining fat, which makes things very challenging. Now with this, obviously, you know I'm gonna be talking right away about nutrition. This is without a doubt one of the most important factors that's gonna lead to helping you get rid of that love handle fat. Now where it gets tough is it's unfortunately not gonna come off right away. When you enter a calorie deficit, you start burning more calories than you consume per day. You're gonna to start to notice it in a lot of other areas, like I had said before. You'll start to notice your face slimming down a little bit, maybe your upper body, sometimes the legs, maybe the chest, like different areas of your body. And this is why I want to start with tip number one, talking about being patient, because when you are in a deficit for a certain amount of time and you stick to it, it's going to come off. You just have to stay patient. And a lot of times people try to rush the process, which is gonna limit their ability to actually be in a deficit for a certain amount of time. So when it comes down to my recommendation, I usually recommend aiming to lose about one to 1.5 pounds per week. So this is gonna be a nice solid deficit where you're not gonna be starving. You're not gonna be at a point where you just can't do it for a certain amount of time and your day-to-day -day life shouldn't be affected. So once you get to that point where you lose five, 10, 20, 25 pounds and you stick with it, you'll start to notice your love handles shrinking every single day. And with this, you should be aiming to have about a 500 to 700 calorie per day deficit. So if your maintenance where you don't lose or gain weight is around 2,500, you should be aiming to have 2,000 calories or just below. And this way you'll be able to sustainably hit your targets and start to see some incredible progress. Now, step number three is gonna be following a resistance training program at least four times per week. Now, a lot of people don't realize how important this actually is. And especially when it comes to increasing the size of your upper body and just bulking up those upper body muscles, your shoulders, your lats, all that great stuff, it's actually gonna give an illusion of a smaller waist, therefore making the love handles less noticeable. And another interesting fact is if you do follow a calorie deficit while trying to get rid of the love handles, you'll actually lose a significant amount more muscle than fat. And unfortunately, when you do get to that point where you lose a bunch of weight, it's gonna come off in all the wrong areas, a lot of it's gonna be muscle, and you're just not gonna be happy with your end physique because of how much muscle you've actually lost. And lastly, I really try to look at lifting and strength training as a safety guard. Unfortunately, if you do go through this process trying to not strength train, you're gonna go through a very tough time in the future while your metabolism is, is messed up, while you just constantly have to retry getting rid of those love handles. And truthfully, when you strength train, your metabolism is in a much better space and you're gonna be able to consume more calories, you're gonna have more muscle mass, it's gonna be so much easier to lose fat, and it is one of the greatest long-term investments that you will ever make. Next up, we've got to talk about increasing your movement. Now, obviously a good chunk of the calorie deficit is going to come from your nutrition, a little portion from your strength training, and the last missing puzzle piece is going to be movement. 
Now, obviously this is gonna be different for each person. If you're super sedentary, you start to increase the amount of steps you do per day, you're gonna be in a fantastic spot. If you're super active, you might have to do just a little bit more. I do recommend for most people being in the eight to 12,000 step per range is a very solid point to be. Obviously, if you're already doing 15,000 steps, that's not gonna cut it for you. And if you're doing 3,000 steps, you're gonna to have to work your way up. But a lot of people ask me the best form of cardio and movement, and I'm gonna to have to say walking is without a doubt the best. It's easy to implement you can do it no matter what day it is you can do it socially you just it's it's fantastic it's easy on your body and you can do it anywhere with no equipment right if you don't like running don't run if you hate sports don't join a sports league you don't have to do it that way but simply put increasing your movement each day even if it's just by a little bit over time you will help with that deficit and you will 100% get to your goals within a certain time frame whatever that is based off of your situation last but not least another very important step that you will not want to miss out on is just simply continuously showing up and being as consistent as possible. Keep going. I see so many people on the path to become better here. And a lot of times their consistency is very, very poor. You know, Monday to Thursday, they do great. They meal prep. Friday to Sunday, they drink a ton, which is just not gonna help. It's gonna take you out of a deficit. You're gonna feel horrible. You're not gonna work out. It always adds up, right? So the biggest thing here is if you do this for at least 90 days, you consistently show up for yourself. You lose a little bit of fat in those random areas and the more that you show up and the more consistent you are while being patient and trusting the process it is incredible it's what you can accomplish and I know this because we've helped over 4,000 people who have been struggling who have tried absolutely everything and the biggest formula to their success obviously was accountability but consistently showing up day after day after day and consistently putting in that work so you got this I truly believe in you obviously if you need some more support fill out that first link down below I will love to help you out and just put together a game plan for you that's customized to your situation and that's all I have for you today make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video I really hope you learned a thing or two get rid of those love handles gain that confidence back no matter what you're wearing I want you to feel your absolute best whether it's a bikini whether you're shirtless you deserve it and I'm rooting for you we'll see you in the next video peace out